women are 3.5 billion solutions to climate change. I come from a very small country, from Costa Rica. For some countries and for some men and women, climate change is making their life more complicated. It's a little bit more cool, it's a little bit more hot. For us, it's a matter of death and life, and that is why we got involved. Twenty years ago, IUCN uh, took the challenge of creating the first gender and environment office in any environmental office, and it was not easy. When the gender office was created, we used to joke and said that it was the gender unit because the unit was only me, <laughs> so I was the only unit working on it. And for now, 22 years, IUCN is the organization that have has the longest uh, gender team, and right now the biggest gender team worldwide. We're 15 people devoted to uh, putting together uh, the linkages between gender and environment, especially when it comes to climate change. For the past eight years, we have gradually been seeing the incorporation of gender in the decisions and in the mandates. There is no more time left. Uh, people sometimes said, oh, well, we have 10, 15 more years. In my work, unfortunately, I have to pull the bodies of women after floods because they were never taught how to swim. So the time for action is now. And gender equality is probably one of the best investments that we can do to combat climate change.